everyone and welcome to this video. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and I thought I'd just jump on and do a little face-to-face -face video with you guys about the new moon and you know if you do like seeing me on camera I am live on camera with members three times a week so I provide uh, three extra videos every week for members with me on the camera like this but right now for everyone I am loving doing the readings the way I'm doing them behind the camera to show you the cards but I thought I'm going to jump on and just do a little video and show you, you know, what the energy of the new moon is bringing in. It's really powerful energy that's coming in. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available right now. You can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com and I'll give you all the info. And just to remind you that this time next year, in May 2024, on a Saturday on the 18th of May, I'm going to be live in London for a whole day event. And if you want info on that, you can check that out in the description box. Go to the Eventbrite uh, ticket link and it will give you all the information, you know, tell you all about the day. We're going to be connecting with angels. We're going to be talking about the Twin Flame journey. We're going to be connecting with each other. We're going to have a little sing, a dance. It's going to be amazing. So next time, next year, this time next year, I'm going to be live. But right now, let's see what the new moon is bringing in. So I'm going to bring in the Moonology Manifestation and the Oracle by Yasmin Boland. I'm going to bring in the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine Message Tarot to see what's happening. Look at that straight out. So what's this energy of this new moon bringing in? Thank you, angels. What's the energy of the new moon bringing in for the Divine Feminines? Wow. And for the Divine Masculines, what's the new moon bringing in? Okay, let's do this then. So the energy then around this new moon is we've got take a reality check, reveal what needs to be seen. So what I'm actually feeling with this, this is really powerful because look at this card first of all. Your hard work is paying off and this is the new moon energy in Capricorn. So the Capricorn energy is about adventure. The new moon is bringing in new beginnings, opportunities for adventure. So Whatever you've been doing, your hard work is paying off. You know, all the work you've been doing on yourself, it's paying off. So keep doing what you're doing. So working on self-love, gratitude, all the things that you feel inside are true or real. So trust that. So the hard work you've been doing on you or your career or service or letting go, it's paying off and you're going to see the reward. So take a reality check. This is about things coming up to the surface for healing. And I really have been feeling this, you know, this new moon is bringing things out into the open so that things that were revealed or things that were hidden are now being revealed. So things are now being seen. So I'm seeing this as a divine masculine looking at their life, taking a reality check, thinking about you and realizing that things need to change. And that's because of the hard work you've been putting in. And you may be looking at your life right now thinking things need to change in my life too. You know, if you're in the wrong job or you're not feeling good about something or maybe you need to let go. So we've got make time for self-love. So self-love is really important. Make time for that. That means doing something you enjoy. Maybe this weekend you're going to go on a mini break or you're going to go out with your friends or out with your children or out with family. Or you're going to do something you enjoy, even if that's Netflix and chill. Or you're going to have a nice relaxing bath or maybe you're going for a massage or a walk or a drive or you're doing something for you. But you must make that time for self-love. So the new moon is bringing in this energy where we start thinking about what we want. And this is why the masculines are going through a reality check because they're starting to look at their life and think, what do I actually want? Is this what I want for the rest of my life? They're looking at that karmic partner, that karmic job, that karmic relationship, thinking it's not for me. And that's because the water rabbit came in in January to bring in new doors. And that's why there's so much ascension around going through physical things. Because if we aren't making the changes we know inside we need to make, we're going to feel it physically. We're going to feel tired, drained, achy. We're going to be going through ascension symptoms. So that's why these things have been coming up very powerfully. And that's why it's also helping me to be behind the camera instead of on camera because of all the energy I've been absorbing. So anything you've been going through, they're giving me as I'm connecting with this headache, they give me head pressure, they give me aches, they give me cold flu-like symptoms, you know, because anything you're experiencing is preparing you for the new. So feminine, you're saying I'm realizing where my true power comes from. 
So around this new moon, you're really feeling connected with source. You know, you're realising that your true power comes from within you and above you. It does not come from connecting with your twin because your twin is part of you. And when you connect with yourself, you know that. So you don't need them physically to be around you to feel happy or satisfied. You have that power to feel happy and satisfied now by choosing to feel that way, by embracing this life for what it is and feeling excited. And I gain my power from above. So, you know, during this new moon, you're realizing that you get your power from above and that's where your true strength comes from. That means calling on the angels, God, the higher power, the universe, your guides, your loved ones, whoever you connect with, they are giving you power from above. And you're saying to your masculine, you know, I hope you can open up and tell me how you feel. This is what you want. You want them to open up. But you also know that this is coming because this is the intention you were setting. And you're saying, I set my intentions, whatever they may be, whether they are about bringing your masculine towards you, being in union itself, or a dream you're manifesting, something you're working on, you know your goals are manifesting. I set my intentions and I know they are manifesting. And a new moon is a great time to update your vision board or write down what you're feeling or pray, ask, set those intentions and know with unwavering faith and truth and power that they are manifesting. I am embracing the life of my dreams. So this is about this new moon giving you renewed power and vitality to move forward fiercely and fearlessly with love. And I am ready for a change. So you're ready for something. You're ready for a change. You're ready for something new. It's like a new you is about to emerge. It's so powerful because, you know, I was experiencing some ascension symptoms the other day. And I got my Archangel Raphael cards. You know, the Archangel Raphael Oracle of Healing. And I asked why I was going through these things. And one card jumped out of the deck. A new you is about to emerge. So I feel this is about moving to the next level moving to a new level and if you're a member of the channel i've done a really powerful pick a pile about your journey today so make sure you also do check that out and if you are thinking about becoming a member it's a great day to join to check that out i'm also going to be hoping to be live today as well doing a q a so you know if you've got any questions you can jump on live and ask me okay i have choices to make but i'll always choose you so again, your masculine is letting you know it's never a decision about you and someone else or you and something else. It's always them needing to choose themselves. And what they are doing right now with this new moon is taking stock of their life. You know, they're having a reality check. They're looking at their life and they're thinking, wow, I've got choices to make. And he's saying, whatever I do, whatever choices I make, I'll always choose you because once I choose myself, we are one. And remember that there's never any distance or separation. That's illusion. You are one. You live within each other all the time. And your twin is saying, please don't give up on our love. You know, please don't give up on our love. I've been hurt in the past, but now I'm ready to pick myself up and start again. And the Ten of Swords is the completion energy. So a new beginning is about to happen here. You know, your twin is saying, I am ready to begin again. I'm just sorting a few things out first by looking at my life and choosing you by choosing me. And deciding what to do. And some masculines have got more decisions to make than other masculines. You know, some masculines may be single, but they may be dealing with an addiction. Or they may be dealing with real fears. Or they may be going through financial issues. Some masculines may be really trapped in a relationship, but want you in every way. So every masculine in every situation is unique and different. But the ultimate message of the feminine is you gain your power from above. You can harness that power to handle whatever's going on and to cope with it and to deal with it the right way with compassion, love, empathy and understanding. And you may be looking at things in your life right now, changing them. You know, you may be thinking, well, I don't want to be angry anymore. I want to forgive. I want to heal. I want to feel free or I don't want to struggle with this back and forth. I just want to be with my twin. So I want to work on me and my goals and dreams until that's possible for me. Or maybe you were thinking about you wanting a family and it's about letting go and just allowing the universe to take care of it no matter how old you are physically or what the doctors have said or what's going on. Something's meant for you will be for you. And remember we've been talking about the energy of fertility and that this is a potent time right now for things to happen. Not only for babies to be made but for things to happen within your world and life. 
So trust the love. Trust the love. Things are manifesting. You are safe. So I just wanted to jump on and be face to face with you today because it is the energy of the new moon and remind you to have faith and trust the journey and to just enjoy life. And when I did a live the other day on Tuesday, it came through very powerfully that big happy changes are coming in. You know, I did a card at the end for everyone and that card came up. So I shared that to music on TikTok and on YouTube. And, you know, the energy is just enjoy life. The more you enjoy life, the more you enjoy your day, the more you work on self-love, the quicker the doors to everything open, not just union and your twin returning to you, but also to your dreams manifesting, the type of money you want to receive, the type of career you want to have, the type of life you want to lead. These things happen when you're enjoying life and you enjoy life by being available to yourself in the moment, doing things in the moment, being spontaneous, being excited about what's to come, not worrying about the past or stressing over the future because we get stuck in that cycle and that brings up fear and doubt and worry. And if you've got fear, doubt or worry, give it to heaven. If you've got time to worry, you've got time to pray. So focus on peace and the universe will do the rest. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.